Welcome to Scale Model Basics. I'm Tim Kidwell. Let's talk about how to use isopropyl alcohol to remove paint and uncured epoxy. Let's start with paint. To use isopropyl alcohol to remove paint, first you need isopropyl alcohol. Right here we've got some 91%. You will need a reservoir or a dish to soak the part in. You'll also need a toothbrush. You can use either one like this, you know, old-fashioned toothbrush, or a cheap battery-powered mechanical toothbrush would maybe speed up the process a little bit for you. You're going to need toothpicks because there is inevitably going to be a space where there's paint that you're going to need to get at and scrape. And then, of course, you need the part that you're going to be taking the paint off of. So we already have the isopropyl alcohol in the dish and then we've got the part. Here's the thing. Yes, I am using this car body. I have put primer, lacquer, acrylic paint up here in front. Um, I'm using this as a test mule to show you guys how this works. If you were actually going to take the paint off of this entire car body, what you would want to do then is have a large enough dish where you'd be able to submerge the part in the alcohol and then let the alcohol do its work. What we're going to do here though, because again, I want to show you how this works, we're going to submerge the back end into the alcohol and you're going to give it some time to do its work. Let the alcohol penetrate the paint and start eating away at it. Once it's softened the paint and it's starting to do the job, then we go in with the toothbrush. One word of warning, isopropyl alcohol gives off fumes, so don't get super close to what you're doing, where you're doing your work. You don't want to breathe that in. So it hasn't been very long at all, uh, just about a minute or two, and I'm just going to take, take this out to show you. You can see where the paint has been inside, submerged in the alcohol, and where it hasn't been. And this is the lacquer end. So, you know, we can go ahead and take this and start running it along this toothpick and start running it along the, the edge of that trunk lid. And you can see right away, it is, it's going right through that paint, right? Now, you're going to want to continue to have the part in the alcohol because when if you take it out the alcohol stops doing its job but you want to have that part in there as you start working with a toothbrush now you're going to want to have a stiffer brush rather than a a soft paint brush um, we're not we're not brushing teeth here we're we're going at the paint and the other thing that as you start work and you can see right away you can see that it is getting into the, into the alcohol. As you start the work, it is a toothbrush, so there's going to be some overspray. So don't wear clothes that you're gonna be upset if they get a little bit of paint on them or wear, a, <laughs> wear an apron, right? Just to, just to protect yourself. But you can see it's not taking much at all. And I'm going not only through that lacquer that's on top of the primer, but I am also going through the primer itself right to the plastic. Now, there are going to be people who say, well, I use, you know, oven cleaner or any number of other things, and that's fine, but you can use isopropyl alcohol and you can be assured that that alcohol is not going to damage the underlying plastic as you're doing this work. I'm not pressing hard at all as it is doing this work. Now, I can continue to do this work and strip this paint off of this end until I'm satisfied that I've got all the paint off that I want to remove. Now, I wanted to show you that it indeed does work on lacquer. If we turn it around and we put the acrylic side in, we can basically do the same thing. Now remember, not all acrylics are water-based, but they are not as harsh or chemically active as what lacquer is. 
So it should not take as much effort to remove the acrylic as it does the lacquer. Now, again, we've only waited about a minute and I'm gonna come in here and start and look at that. Look how quickly. Now on this side, obviously you can see it's taking off the acrylic paint right off the top of the lacquer based primer that I've got there very easily. I'm not hard, I'm hardly even touching it. And it's taking, it's taking that acrylic paint right off. Now I could, you know, if I wanted to, just like on the, on the rear end, if I wanted to really work at it, I could also take that primer off too, which if I'm going to repaint, I probably would, but you can see just how easily it's taking that acrylic paint off. It's here, Fine Scale Modeler's new special issue, Paint Award-winning figures. You can find it at your local hobby store, bookstore, or newsstand, or you can order it directly from us at the link in the description. Inside, you're gonna find 100 pages of figure modeling goodness from the likes of Joe Hudson, Matt Mrozik, Anya Shetnina, there are 11 how-to stories packed with great insights about how to paint, attach parts, everything you need to build better figure models. Get your copy today. Do you like what you see here and want more? Subscribe to Fine Scale Modeler Magazine. You'll get six issues a year crammed with how-to stories from some of the best modelers around the world. Go to finescale.com slash YouTube for a special offer for YouTube viewers like you. So that's how you can take paint off your model with isopropyl alcohol. Just as a note, it does work on enamel just like it does with lacquer or acrylics. I just wanted to give you two ends of the spectrum and well because I wasn't dunking the whole body I didn't really put enamel through the center but it does work. Now you're gonna ask oh but Tim what about all of that isopropyl alcohol that you've got there that now has paint in it? Don't fret. Find yourself an empty bottle, a spray bottle, empty bottle from a previously used um, amount of isopropyl alcohol. And what you can do is you can reclaim this. So get yourself a funnel, put funnel in bottle, get a paper coffee filter or even a paint filter, put it in that funnel, and then just go ahead and filter it right on through. Now, are you gonna get all of the particulates out? No. Are you gonna get all of the color out of that isopropyl alcohol? No. But because you're probably going to be using it to remove paint again later on, well, at least you can get the, the big stuff, the glunky stuff, and then just let the rest of it drain in there, mark it so that you know what you can use it for, and then use it again to strip paint. While this is, uh, while this is doing its job, We'll go ahead and talk about how to use isopropyl alcohol to remove uncured epoxy. So let's say you're building a figure, whether it be resin or vinyl or metal, and you're using epoxy to hold the parts together. What you can do is let that epoxy ooze out of the seams, especially those seams where maybe you suspect you're gonna have to do some filling later on. You can let the epoxy ooze out of those seams and then not worry too much about it because you can come back and clean it up with isopropyl alcohol, like this. So we already have some epoxy, two-part epoxy already made up. This is the five minute kind. I'm just gonna apply it to this. And then go ahead and that in there. Uh-oh. We've got some ooze there, but never fear. We can come in with the isopropyl alcohol on a cotton swab, and we can start cleaning that up. Now remember, it has to be uncured. The alcohol is not going to work on cured epoxy, two-part epoxy. This is a technique that we learned from professional figure modeler 
Matt Mrozek, and it actually surprised us that it would work. And well, lo and behold, it is a technique now that we wanted to share with you, but it is in our stable of skills and no more are we afraid of oozing two-part epoxy. That's how you can use isopropyl alcohol to remove paint from your model parts or to clean up uncured clear two-part epoxy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.